And also new tonight in Norfolk, a 13-year-old was shot overnight as he and a friend were playing with a loaded gun. Police say this was a preventable shooting and neighbors are concerned. Officers were called to a home on Pelham Street around 3.40 this morning. The boy was rushed to CHKD and he is expected to be okay. 10 on your side, Tamara Scott joins us with all the details. And Tamara, police have a lot of questions about what happened. That's right, Kayla. And the number one question is how did these kids get a hold of a gun? Around 3.40 this morning, police were called to the 1000 block of Pelham Street in Norfolk. When they arrived, they found a 13-year-old boy suffering from a gunshot wound. I simply, I was driving my bike going to a friend's house to go riding. And as I drove by, I saw the area taped off down here. Mm -hmm. And I saw a police officer outside kind of guard, guarding that area. Police say the child does not have life-threatening injuries and will be okay. They say he and a friend were playing with a loaded firearm when it accidentally went off. It's just fear, you know, fear for the children. Neighbor and retired police officer Harold Peake says it was a preventable accident. You have to be responsible. A gun is not a toy. A gun is a dangerous instrument. It can be used for, for protection, but the purpose of the gun is to kill. He thinks things like this keep happening because there's a lack of fear. But if they don't have the fear mm -hmm. of that weapon mm -hmm. or the fear of their parents being mad because they touched that weapon, they're going to touch the weapon and then you're going to have a going to have a bad bad situation. And that kids are getting the wrong message in general. It's because of a lot of the games that you have on computers mm -hmm. and because of a lot of the things that happen day to day that they hear from their friends, they hear, they see on television. The gun no longer is a, it's not, it's not scary to them. Earlier this month, Chief Boone sent out a statement regarding youth gun violence. He blamed irresponsible gun owners as well, saying in part, properly securing your firearm reduces the chances a juvenile will use a gun to make a split second decision that changes everyone's life. And he added, the easy access to guns has to stop. Now, detectives are investigating this incident to determine how the boys were able to get a gun. And you can read the chief's full statement online at wavy.com. In the newsroom, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.